This video shows how to mount and adjust the HLR double axis with a connecting shaft. Place the first HLR linear actuator on the fastening points, align the actuator roughly within the system. Place toe clamps on the fastening points and tighten the screws lightly, then tighten the screws completely and loosen them by approximately half a turn to allow adjustment of the axis. Pay attention on the precision of the fastening points, indicated in the HLR's manual. Final alignment of the linear actuator within the system, depending on the required accuracy, a measuring tape, distance gauges, dial gauge or other suitable measuring equipment can be used. Place toe clamps on the fastening points and tighten the screws of the fastening points crosswise. Recommended torque to tighten the screws is 5 newton meter. Check alignment of the linear actuator within the system after tightening all toe clamps. Place the second linear actuator on the fastening points. Align the linear actuator roughly within the system. Place toe clamps on the fastening points and tighten the screws lightly. Then tighten the screws completely and loosen them approximately half a turn to allow adjustment of the axis. Check the center distance of the double axis at both ends of the linear actuators and correct if necessary. For correct distance and tolerances please refer to the HLR's manual. Align the linear axis axially to each other. Use the end faces of the drive stations on that side where the connecting shaft will later be mounted. For the maximum permissible offset of the drive stations please refer to the HLR's manual. Align the double axes parallel to each other. Distance gauges, dial gauge or other suitable measuring equipment can be used. Set the same distances between the individual fixing points of the double axes. Make sure you do not lose the second actuator's correct axial alignment. Tighten the screws of all fastening points crosswise. Recommended torque is 5 newton meter. Remove cover caps on the drive stations. Push the clamping ring with the clamping screw onto the pulley. The clamping screw must be accessible via the front mounting bore of the drive stations. All clamping surfaces must be free of oil and grease. The slot of the clamping ring must be aligned with the slot of the pulley. Insert the shaft trunnions into the pulleys and adjust the protruding length between clamping ring and shaft trunnions. Fasten the clamping ring through the front bore of the deflection station with the required tightening torque. Insert the shaft trunnions into the drive station of the second linear actuator. Proceed as with the first actuator. Remove the clamping halves of the connecting shaft on both sides. Check the length of the connecting shaft. If necessary, readjust the coupling halves. The correct length of the connecting shaft is indicated in the HLR manual. Align the carriages of the double axis with each other. Push both carriages to the internal stops of the drive stations where shaft trunnions were mounted. Place the connecting shaft on the shaft trunnions and center between the linear actuators. Check distance between drive stations and connecting shaft on both sides. All clamping surfaces must be free of oil and grease. Position the tension halves of the connecting shaft and tighten screws lightly. Tighten clamping screws in such a way that an equal sized slot between coupling halves and tension halves is reached. Recommended torque to alternately tighten the connecting shaft's clamping screws is 7.4 newton meter.
For more information and safety notes please refer to the HLR's manual on parker.com slash EME slash HLR.